Hi everybody, it is Vlogmas. Vlogmas day 11. Saturday. Saturday, December 11th. Let's do this thing.
it is already towards the very end of this wonderful day 11 of Vlogmas. And I feel bad because all I really did was get a bunch of just random in images today or videos while we were out and about shopping. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to edit that and put all of that before you see this or if you'll see that after you'll see this. Most likely you'll see it before. Um, but yeah, we didn't really do much today because Avery had to work and Winter Storm Amelia did show her her little head for a while. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many inches of snow that we got, but um, because we have amazing neighbors and things like that, the end of our driveway got plowed out. And then Rob went out there this afternoon and did the rest of the driveway and then the whole walkway out front um, up to our porch. And after that, Avery went to work and then we decided to run to the city and then we just bummed around there. So we went to, um, we went to eat. We had Chinese food. And Jazz ate some sushi and tried it. Where do we go after that? I think we went to like Goodwill. We went and stopped at Walmart. Um, and then we went to Petco, you guys, by a video of Jazz playing with, or... Actually, I didn't get a video because I have video of the ferret following Jazzy around, but um, we've always had ferrets. I've had them since I was growing up. Jazz is used to them because we've had them since she was a baby as well here. We don't obviously currently have one. But the ferrets that they got in, there was only one left and everyone there was like afraid to pick her up because she, they said she just attacks and she bites and she's got an attitude. And I was like, yeah, okay, sure. So it was really funny because there was like three employees that all came over there and just stood around and they're like, well, you know, um, she really shouldn't be picked up because she bites and she's aggressive. And I was like, mm -hmm, watch, watch, watch the ferret whisper and learn. The dog just totally bonked herself. Um, it's like wobbling. So my hair is so flat today. Oh, well. Anyway, um, I ended up just, they unlocked it, and they all kind of just stood there like, oof. I don't know. I don't know about this. And I just reached right in and grabbed her and pulled her out, and she was in my hand, and she was just so cute. Um, she did not bite me at all. They were all just standing there like, were they not? No, they were like, their mouth was like wide open. Especially the one guy. There was this one guy, he, his mouth was like, oh my god, how? Yeah, he was like, she drew blood, she bit me, it was so bad. He's like, I won't even put my hand in there. And the other lady's like, yeah, I, I won't put my hand in there. And I just reached in and grabbed her and was playing with her. And she was giving me kisses and they were just like, whoa. And Jazzy held her for a minute and played with her. So it was just, um, it was super cute. And she's so, oh my God, I wanted to bring her home with us. Um, but however, the prices of them... Holy crappers, they're like almost $400 now at Petco for a ferret. You... People, stop writing me. Um, so, yeah, we got to play with a ferret, though. I played with her for longer. Sorry, Jazz. Yeah, because she was hogging the whole entire... Mm. It was the stinky, and they're so cute, and I love them so much. And I didn't want her biting you just in case. Um, I kind of know how to handle them, so I was afraid. Yeah, I haven't handled one in like... Since I was four, I don't know. I know. But we did have fun, um, bumming around with Rob, and... Oh, I need to take a shower. <laughs> we ended up... You guys, there's this whole freaking Walmart drama story I don't really want to get into, but long story short, I found a really good deal online, like, two weeks ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, I don't know what it was. It was a Sunday. And they had these mainstay bookshelves, and... They were like 50 bucks, but they were clearance to $29 per shelf, and they're like 71 inches tall by whatever. Anyway, there's five shelves. You can move them. And I told, I think I mentioned like the room upstairs I want to turn into my like reading Jasmine Jane. 
I want to turn it into like my reading room, my little library area and put a desk up there with my bookshelves and all my books that are throughout this entire house. Um, and Rob like helped clean it out because it was just a room filled with random stuff that nobody knew what to do with. So it all just kind of got put into this room. So he cleaned it all out because it was mainly all Avery stuff. <laughs> um, and there's still like Jasmine's old Barbie doll house up there, which I think we're going to sell or give away. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I bought these bookshelves online and they said I could go to my Walmart to pick them up. And basically then they canceled my order and told me that, oh no, no, these were not supposed to even be that price and we don't have them in stock. They flew out the doors. So basically my money, cause I ordered four of them and they were $30 each. It was like my present to myself to get, you know, Moving on fixing that room up up there and getting all my books from random places in this house. And, yeah. So, what they fail to tell you when they um, cancel your online order is that you don't get your money back in your account for like 7 to 10 plus days. So, my money was gone. And then there was this whole fiasco where I called and another Walmart said, no, 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 we have them. So, do the online order and just come here to pick them up. So... I was going to do it, but I was waiting for the woman to verify she had four of them in black sitting there, and she never verified it, but yet she charged my freaking account. And then guess what? They didn't have them either. So there was some more money tied up in Walmart freaking exchanges or returns that I wasn't even getting back for how long. Oh my gosh, my arm is falling asleep. So... Anyways, I was on the phone for hours and hours dealing with this one day, and I was through the moon, like, pissed off. Over the moon pissed off? Probably not through the moon. Over the moon? I don't know. Whatever. But there were not going to be getting any more of these bookshelves in, da-da-da-da-da. There was all this whatever story. Uh, look what Rob found sitting on the, the freaking shelves. Literally, the bookshelves that I wanted that they said they weren't going to get back in stock anymore anywhere in my area in the color black. And there's three boxes just chilling right there on the freaking shelf. So we asked the lady. She said there was another one in back, but she went to go find it. And mysteriously, it was not there, of course. But guess who got three of the bookshelves that I wanted in black and I made them honor the price from all of that other past crap. And I got them for 29 bucks. Like, tell me that wasn't freaking awesome. So this is what they look like. They're just a mainstay um, shelving unit. I really, really, really wanted some from Ikea. However, uh, apparently if you don't have an Ikea like really close to you that you can go and pick your products up at... Um, then you can't go get an Ikea product because they don't ship them or they don't in my area. So um, this was my next option and it was super cheap so I could get four of them. I ended up with three, but I have a feeling that I'm going to walk into another Walmart and there's going to be another one sitting there and then I'll have them. So I'd rather have three than none. So that was freaking super, super fantastic. These things are big. Um... Jasmine ended up getting this book, um, Don't, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Yes, Nagatoro. Oh, you and your Japanese anime whatever stuff. Anyway, oh, I forgot we did go to, um, Half Price Books, which so that part. <laughs> is awesome. Really, really, really cool place. We love going there. Um, and then Rob made sure to grab some crickets for... Avery's you know, bearded dragon crickets, flash. They work. That's disgusting. What? You, they're not going to hurt your book, dude. I don't care, but it's disgusting. Oh my god. Okay, well then take your book. Ugh. Um, and then we also got some mealworms for his bearded dragon. Uh, one of these days I should actually show you guys Flash. He's getting way bigger. Um, he's still kind of brain dead or damaged, but that's okay. We love him regardless. Um... I got some Amazon packages over there, and I'm not sure what we're going to do the rest of the night, but I wanted to finally actually Weird. update you guys 
um, let and let you know pretty soon we're going to make some bookshelves. Probably not today, obviously, but um, it can happen. It can finally happen. I have I have the will I need one, now to one. to turn that room upstairs into something amazing. Okay, amazing. Uh. So the other thing we found actually at Half Price Books, like I was talking about, I almost forgot to show you guys. Uh, I found this journal. It is a Wonder Woman journal and um, Wonder Woman notebook, whatever. It's really cool feeling. It feels almost like canvas and it just says strength, power, and freedom. And when you open it up, check it out. And then it's just a journal. So I thought it was really cool. That's going to be a Christmas present. Um... And then, you guys, what I wanted to show you was I got this palette book, and it was, like, in the... It's just a magazine. You see how much these are normally? I got it for $3 at Half Price Books, um, but it's, like, an art book. So, there's all these art prints in it and just different pictures and imagery and things. So, I thought it was really, really cool, and... I picked it up for $3 so that I can cut all these images out and use them um, in my journals and things like that or art books, but some of them are just really, really cool. I've never heard of this kind of magazine before, but um, I want to actually read some of it too because it looks really freaking interesting. So that is what I'm going to do with this, um, and it's just a palette. It's called Palette. Only interested in everything. So this one on the side, there was another one, but I didn't get it. This one is Dave Eggers and Bruce Willis. So, I don't know. It's really cool, though, and some of the images inside are really awesome. So, like I said, that's just going to be used for journaling and cutting out some of the images and stuff. So, that's all we got from there. What is going on over there?